Hey crafty cuties! Welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, I'm Jessica. How are you? <laughs> I don't know what that was, but today I'm going to show you what I sent to my Patreon members for October, and we're going to do a little layout in my inspiration journal just to kind of show you how I would use these things and just for a fun creative moment. Let's go ahead and I have four tiers that I send mail to. And if you are someone who is interested, go ahead and join my Patreon right now. You can actually join for free to just get a little preview to see how Patreon works. And there will be times when I might post like a little sneak peek to kind of show you, hey, this is like one of the video exclusive videos that I posted. Um, and then also if you want monthly mail and you like these packs right here, as of right now, October 19th, I do have um, a few extra for each tier. So if you sign up, it's not too late as of right now if you want to grab one. So this is the dandelion tier. And this is kind of like, I when I made this tier, I called it like a postcard tier. And basically every month you would just get a postcard, but I've changed it up back and forth. And um, sometimes you'll get like a little preview of what I sent everyone or just like a little snippet or something like that. But this month, instead of, of a postcard, I sent Tim Holtz journal cards because the entire theme is Tim Holtz and I basically was just really inspired by his um, ephemera and die cuts and so it is super Tim Holtz themed and I love how it turned out. Okay, this is the Lily's tier. You always get a little welcome note from me as well. But the main item, so okay, you get your little journal card. They're all different. The main item that I made for this month are these little pocket tags. Now for the lilies tier, I didn't actually include any little things. This one, I think I accidentally added these afterwards, but you can see that it's super fun and has these little pockets. So you can see though how I would use that in a journal. You have all these little places to put little ephemera, just like that. And then you get a layered doily and they're all a little bit different, obviously. Okay, let's head on to the rose tier. I would say if you are thinking about joining and you want monthly mail, um, this is a really good tier to get started with. Obviously the orchid tier has a little bit more, but I'll show you why. You just get, you get a lot. Okay, so your welcome letter. You get the main item and for the rose tier, I did add a couple little pieces of ephemera in there and it has this little label here. You get your journal card and they are all different sizes and shapes. This one's kind of like a book card or a bookmark shape. You get the layered doily and see on these I use Tim Holtz ephemera, um, little word stickers. Just a bunch of different little textures in here and they're all sewn um, and I use Edith Holden paper for the background and then oops that's not supposed to be there <laughs> and then the rose mem members also get a little Tim Holtz tab these are so fun I really like how these turned out and then the other thing why I think this tier is worth it is because you get a five piece junk journal kit and it basically just has basic things that you could use like tags, stickers, guest checks, just like the basics. So there's that tier. I had so much fun this month because I love Tim Holtz, but I've been hoarding it for so long and I actually was able to use up so much of my mine. Okay. So I think I just mixed up those last two, by the way, which is why I'm moving things around but we're on we're, we're on track you get your welcome letter again you get your tag with a couple things in here like yeah i did just reverse the last two so either way i'm still showing you what's in them you get your layered doily you get your tab and i put these teeny tiny little safety pins on them and i just thought that I just love how it turned out. 
journal card. This one's so pretty. Love that one. And then for this one, you also get um, a collaged policy envelope. This is the extra item for the ORCID members. And then the difference also with the ORCID members um, is that you get a 10 piece junk journal kit, whereas with the ROSE members, you get a five piece. So you do get quite a bit more in this tier. Okay, so that's everything that you can expect to get. But now we're gonna go ahead and create a layout using these items. I just think it's fun to be able to show you kind of what you can do with the things that you receive. I'm just, I'm mixing these things up a bit so that I have the correct items. So I'm gonna do a layout using the ORCID member pack. And I do sometimes post um, additional or exclusive layout ideas just in Patreon. So if you're a Patreon member, definitely always check around this time of the month so that you can kind of get many ideas for how to use it. Okay, I'm just looking for a place that I want to do a layout. And I'm definitely over, ooh, this is fun. I'm gonna do, actually, wait a second. I think this, it has like trees and then we have some music paper. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I just have my basic supplies out, so. Okay, so getting started, I'm always not exactly sure what to do. Now, I didn't include any um, string. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and use the one that's actually for the organ members. I didn't include any string here, but I am gonna grab some of my own, I think. Now, for these layouts, I do try to mostly just use what is in the pack, but sometimes I'll just reach for a little something here or there. And I just happen to have these fibers right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put that through. Now, I could clip this on a page. I could add it somewhere. I think I might even actually add a photo to this layout. I just happen to have a selfie of me, but I kind of want to show you because my idea for these tags was that it could be really fun if you had a bunch of little photos printed out or like ephemera, like little tickets, like maybe you went to the pumpkin patch kind of thing. Okay, so I know that I want this on the page somewhere, but I also really like the idea of using the policy envelope that's already collaged for us. Um, so this is the part where sometimes it does take me a few to figure out what I want to do. Ooh, we could do a little, I could put this on with washi tape and have it flip over and then have this one flip up. Sometimes I'll even use my envelope as a background. Let's see. And I really like this journal card. So we have our basic supplies as well. So I'm going to dump those out so I can kind of see what it I might want to use ooh, the word gold. That could be fun. And another little envelope. I could use this as a background. Gosh, okay, I'm already feeling indecisive. So what I am gonna start with is the tab. I know that I would want to use this on the side of the page. So I don't have staples right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this on the edge. We'll just put it right about there. Okay. I would probably staple it if I had staples. So I definitely want to use like both pages because again, I love the trees, but I don't want to cover it up fully. So could do something like that. We also have our doily. Now you can use this as like a little side pocket as well. So I could do that over here. Okay. I like to have a spot for journaling sometimes too. So I think I'm just, okay. I'm just gonna start gluing things down. I'm gonna use this as a background, even though we have music paper, but I just want some more layers. Messily gluing that down, just kind of in the center, I think. 
it. Maybe I'll even center that down. But I want, I think I want to have, I could glue it, you know, completely down, but I think I'm just going to glue the flap down so that it can be a little flip. Yep, just like that. And then basically inside here, I could put journaling. And a lot of times when I'm doing these creative layouts, I'll just put my little welcome note because for me, then I can have a way of just remembering when this was. I'm going to grab a pen actually and a little date stamp i do have a date stamp where is it that's a good question because it would be nice to have a little date on here oh you guys what did you do with my date stamp <laughs> i found it this is super cute little date stamp from timu um, oh, actually, I think I'm going to go like this. I have this journal card right here. Oh no, I just got ink. We'll just stamp right over that then. Oh, darn it. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and try to use the smudge 10, 19, 23. Three, and today is a Thursday. Okay, so now we have that. Maybe I'll put that. Oh, yeah, I kind of like that. Sorry, bring that back down. Um, I could use it as a journal card too and write on the back, but I don't know that I have too much to journal about, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some washi tape and I'm gonna washi tape it on so that it will be like a little flip. Then, always if I wanted to add anything later, I can. Usually these layouts don't take me this long, but sometimes, sometimes they do. I'm gonna cut this washi tape in half because it's a little too wide for the space I have. I also I was just going to say, I also love the idea of using the doilies um, on the flap of an envelope. And I kind of just thought about that. I could have that be like a little pocket. A pocket in a pocket. Hmm. <laughs> okay, we're going to just tape this down. There we go. So now we've got that. And no, I think I'm gonna use it as a side tuck right here. Yeah. Now for the doily, personally, I would probably want to staple this on the edge or sew it, but, oh, wait a second. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry guys, but listen here. I just remembered I also have this glassine bag and I love putting glassine bags on layouts because I like how you can kind of see through. I think I'm actually going to put this in here like that. Yes. <laughs> and then place this on here. I like that so much better. See, sometimes you just gotta, like a lot of times I'll say like, you know, like don't overthink it. Just kind of go with your first thought. But obviously if you're overthinking it because you're like not too happy with or you're just not feeling it then I say just be easy on yourself I don't really know man okay I'm gonna put my little welcome note in here like I said and that will be easy if I want to add anything else make sure that's glued down so for this then I think I am just going to go ahead and glue this down on the page. I mean, I have so many other things that I could use, but I am gonna use some more of this washi tape since I use some up here. I'm gonna use some also down here. Yeah, I feel like that looks kind of nice. Oh, you know how it says, oh, this is gold? 
and I forgot that my little card here also says gold and that's kind of fun oh my gosh I promise I didn't plan that out gold like golden I could put it on here yeah I think I'm gonna do that oh my gosh I could use the back side too but that's okay I like this and these are vintage vocabulary cards Then I'm going to go ahead and finally glue this down. I'm just putting glue on the sides here in case I decide that I want to tuck something behind this. I probably don't, but I just like to have the option. There we go. Because I have like little envelopes and things, so I could like, you know, if I wanted, which maybe I do. Just because I like layers, honestly, like that's why I go for it. Okay, so I could keep going and drive myself nuts, but I think we're good. I'm gonna look now really quickly in the little five piece thing and see if there's anything else I wanted to add. No, I have this tiny little tag here. But I could do something like that. And I'm looking to see if I have anything with like a word on it. Cause I could, oh, I could have stamped like the date. Oh, that would have been cute. I'm just going to stamp the date on here just because that's cute. That would be, that would have been so cute. I could have stamped this. And then sent them. That is so cute. Now I'm going to add a little bit more little fibers here. That through like that. There. Okay. <laughs> Having a hard time getting it through here. There. And that adds a little bit more texture as well. And yeah, I'm gonna just I'm just gonna glue that down. Am I gonna write the date again? Sure, why not? There we go. All right, guys. I hope that you enjoyed seeing this little layout. And if you have any questions about Patreon, feel free to message me. And thanks for hanging out. I'll see you guys later. Have a really good day. Bye, guys.